Hi everybody. Today uh, we're going to be working with a DPMS Oracle AR15. I'm new to the AR world, so this has been a learning experience for me. Uh, but today I'm going to show you how we break down a uh, we break down the AR15. Uh, first off, we want to make sure your magazine is out. We're going to pull the charge handle back and look down the the chamber. Uh, obviously, it's clear. Uh, we'll let that slide back. We're going to pull the trigger, dry fire it, and we're ready to take it down. Uh, first off, uh, I got this fancy tool, uh, just still getting familiar with it. And what we want to do is we want to knock out our rear pin. Mine could be a little bit tight at times. Uh, and then what we're going to do is knock out the front pin. Sometimes you don't have to take out the front pin uh, if you're just going to be cleaning it. But for today's sake, I'm going to break it down to show you. We'll punch out the front pin, pull them back. We'll pull them both through, and they'll, they stay connected. And we're going to drop down the lower receiver, and we're going to set that aside. Here's the lower receiver, and we're going to set that up to the side. Uh, we're going to pull back our charge handle, uh, and then release the firing pin and stuff. Uh, and the charge handle will come out, and to, to take it down further, what we want to do uh, is we're going to pull out the pin or the uh, cotter pin. As soon as I find the tool needed to do that, uh, it has a little hook on it. What we can do is we'll pull out the cottering pin. If we get it hooked in there and just give it a slight tug, uh, this one can be a little troublesome getting back in. Uh, and then we're going to drop out our firing pin, and that's what we have. Uh, and we're going to come down here to this area. We're going to give this a turn, uh, and then we're going to pop it out. A little tough to get in there with your fingers. Set that aside. There, there, and there. And then there it is. So the AR-15 is broke down uh, for reassembly. We have this here. Uh, we're going to make sure this is going to go that way. And then we're going to drop our pin back into place. Uh, hope you don't have large fingers because it can be uh, a bugger. And then we're going to give that a turn. And then we're going to replace the firing pin. I like to slide it through and catch it with my fingers. I just don't like dropping it through the hole. Don't know if it'll damage it, but I guess there's a good chance that it could. So we'll slide that down in, push that in, and then we're ready to drop the cartering pin back in. This is where I have a little bit of issue. Sometimes it can be a bugger, sometimes it goes right in. Today it went right in, which is great. So to slide this back together, we want to put our charge handle back in, and inside the, the upper, there's a little slot not, might, might not be able to see it so well with uh, and then there's a little groove that it sets in so we'll slide it in just a little bit and then we'll drop this back in we want to make sure this is pulled completely out because if not the uh, the little lock here will catch so we pull that back far enough drop this in and then it's ready to slide all the way through You'll hear it click, and then that is that part. And then what we want to do is grab our lower receiver, bring it back over. What I like to do is put the front pin in first. It makes it a lot easier to get the rear pin in. And then we'll push that in. Mine's a little tight, so sometimes I gotta kind of push it in with a tool. I like to give it a slight little bump. Once you got that back together, you want to pull your charge handle back several times to make sure it functions correctly. And then we're going to dry fire it, and that is it. That's how we take down the DPMS uh, Oracle AR-15.